everyone how are you i hope you all are fine so in this video we will discuss about chapter 3 that is water resource So you already know that three fourth of the earth surface is covered with water. That we have, uh, or that we already know that three by sorry, three fourth of the surface are the covered with the water. And it means Under three four three one, under covered with the water. Okay, three four part of the earth is covered with the water, and here the same thing is given. And now but only a small portion of it account for fresh water that can be put to use. This fresh water is mainly obtained from surface. Runoff and ground water. Okay, it means here is given that only few amount of water that we use for the that is called the fresh water. Okay, and this water come from mainly obtained from the surface of runoff and the ground water. Okay, that is under the that is available under the ground. That is continually being renewed and recharged through the hydrological cycle. It means through this cycle they are continuously. renewed or recharged okay all water moves within the hydrological cycle ensuring that water is a renewable resource it means all water that are renewed from the cycle that is called hydrological cycle it means that the water is a renewable resource okay so i hope you understand this thing now after that here is given that you might wonder that If three fourth of the world is covered with water and water is a renewable resource, then how it is that countries and regions around the globe suffer from water scarcity? It means we here is given that uh, there is a might wonder to know that is three fourth of the world that is already covered with water and here is also given that the water is a renewable resource. It means they can be renewed. Okay. So then, how it is that the many regions of the world and the uh, many countries that countries region are suffering from the water scarcity? Okay, what is the reason behind it? So why it is predicted that by two thousand twenty-five, nearly two billion people will live in absolute water scarcity? It means here is the prediction is given that by two thousand twenty-five. Nearly two billion people will live in the absolute water scarcity. Now, water scarcity and the need for the water, okay, conservation and manage, man, management. Given the abundance and the availability of water, it is difficult to imagine that we may suffer from water scarcity. Scarcity, okay. It means here is given that uh, three by fourth part of the earth is uh, uh, covered with the water. It means we have the abundance of water collection and the also renewability shows that the uh, renewability of water that it is very difficult to imagine that we have the water scarcity. But still we are in the uh, but still in the many regions of the country have the water scarcity. Here the moment uh, we speak of uh, water. Uh, shortage. Here, moment that we speak of water shortage, we immediately associate it with reason having low rainfall or those they are drought prone. Okay, it means we instantaneously visualize that the deserts of the Rajasthan and Uman balancing many mud cars, earthen mud that means the earthen pots used for collecting and storing water and traveling long distance to get water. It means the people who are living in the Rajasthan, they were traveling. Sorry, they are uh, traveling long distance to get water. Okay, and they collect water in the earthen pond pots. Okay, now true that the availability of water resource varies over space and time, and it is also true that water resource. The availability of water resources varies from time to, and also the over space. 
now mainly due to the variation in the seasonal and annual precipitation but what is scarcity in in most of cases is caused by over exploitation excessive use and unequal access to water among the different social group it means uh, uh, behind uh, apart from the seasonal monsoon changes there is also is water scarcity the there is the most reason that is the over exploitation of water excessive use of water unequal access this uh, unequal access to water among different social group okay where is then water scarcity is likely to occur it means as you have read in the hydrological cycle fresh water can be obtained directly from the precipitation surface run off or the ground water <coughs> sorry is it possible that an area or a region may have a ample water resource but is still facing water scarcity many of our cities are such example such water scarcity may be an outcome of a large growing population okay it means uh, many of our cities such as such examples okay many of cities are such example of this question that is it is it possible okay now the thus the water scarcity may be the outcome of large and growing population and also the consequent greater demand for water okay and unequal access to it it means the rich one uh, have the more rich one can get more water and the poor will a large population requires more water not only for domestic use but also to produce more food also it means for the agriculture there also there is a need of water hence to facilitate sorry facilitate higher food grain production water resources are being over exploited to expand irrigated area and dry season agriculture it means if there is a dry season it means uh, some in the summer season take the example of the summer season that there is uh, no rain for so in this in this time there is a they use over exploited to expand their irrigated area irrigated agriculture is the largest consumer of water how for now it is needed to revolutionize the agriculture through the developing drought which take crops and dry farming techniques you may have seen in many television advertisement that most farmer have their own wells and tubers in their farm for irrigation to meet their production now what have we you ever wondered that what this could result in okay so that it may lead to falling a ground water level it means due to tubers there is a uh, the glare of the ground uh, water is falling okay now adversely affected water availability and food security of the people now the post independent india witnessed intensive industrialization and urbanization creating a vast opportunity for us today a large industry houses are a com- common place as the industrial unit of a mnc it means multinational corp- corporation now the ever increasing number of industry has made a matter worse by exhaustion pressure of reducing fresh water resources it means uh, industry is also the main cause of uh, water scarcity it means the industry apart from being heavy users of water it means industry uses a heavy they are the they are called heavy users of water okay also require power to run them and also they require power to run them much of this energy come from hydroelectric power today in india hydroelectric power contributes approximately 22% of total electricity produced moreover multiplying urban centers with the large and the dense population and urban lifestyle have not only the added to water and energy requirement but have the future aggravated the problem okay they are also aggravated the future problem now if you took into the housing societies or colonies in the cities you would find that the most of these have their own ground water pumping device it means the most of the cities we have seen that they have the their own ground water pumping device to meet their water needs not surprisingly that we find that the prime primary water resources are being over exploited and have some caused their depletion 
in the several of these cities. So far we have focused on the quantity aspects of water scarcity. Okay. Now let us consider another situation where water is sufficiently available to meet the needs of the people. But the area still suffers from water scarcity. It means quantity, it means the uh, area have the water but still they are suffering for from water scarcity. Why? This is scarcity may be due to bad quality of water. Okay, it means this scarcity is due to maybe bad quality of water. If the quality of the water is not good, then how can the people can use them, use it, okay, for the agriculture or for the domestic purpose. Lately, there has been a growing concern that Ever if there is a ample of water to meet the needs of the people, much of it may be polluted by the domestic and industrial waste, like chemical pesticides and fertilizer. Fusion agriculture. It means these are polluted by the industrial wastes and domestic wastes, chemicals also the pesticides and fertilizer that is used in agriculture. Thus making it hazard. Thus, making it a hazardous for human use, Government of India has accorded highest priority to improve the quality of life and enhance ease of living of people, especially those living in rural areas, by announcing the Jal Jeevan Mission. It means those who are living in rural areas, the government were helping them, okay, by giving the enhance of ease of living especially those who are living in rural area by announcing the like mission like Jal Jeevan mission that is the goal of Jal Jeevan mission is to enable every rural household to get assured supply of potable pipe water at a service level of 55 liter per capita per day regular okay in the for per capita they get 55 liter water per day regularly on long term basis by ensuring functional of the tap water connection okay you may have already realized that the need of the art is to conserve and manage our water resource to safeguard ourselves from health hazards it means why do we need to uh, conserve and manage water resource this is useful to safeguard ourselves from the health hazards to ensure food security and also the continuation of livelihood and productive activities and also to prevent degradation of our natural ecosystem. Over exploitation and the mismanagement of water resource will improve is, sorry impoverish the impoverish the this resource can cause ecological crisis that may have profound impact on our lives. So it's very important to conserve or manage water resource. Multi-purpose river projects and integrated water resource management. But how do we conserve and manage water? What is there is uh, here is given in the previous section that we have to conserve water, but. Here is it now the question is given that how do we pro, uh, conserve okay and we manage water archaeological and the historical resource so that from the ancient time we have been constructed so sophisticated hydrolog hydraulic structure like dams built of stone rubble rivers or lake embankment and canal also for irrigation not surprisingly but we have continued this tradition in modern India by building dams in most of our river basin. It means by the help of a dam, we can conserve and manage water. Okay. It is about that uh, uh, how the uh, hydraulic structure in the ancient India that in the and now in the modern time there is water dam and how they help to in conserving and managing water. Here in this topic that we read about that how we conserve and manage water okay 
and in the previous section that we have uh, read about that the there is some river is given vakanand dam were mostly they are traditionally built to improve impound river and rainwater that could be used later to irrigate agriculture field it means it is the you can say that we can collect water for irrigation okay there is in the previous section we have read about the that that we have to conserve and manage water resource for the living For our life, and here in the next topic, we are given that how do we conserve this type of thing. So by making dams, we can conserve and manage water resources. Okay. In this chart, it is given that water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. Okay. After a heavy downpour, a boy collects drinking water in Kolkata. Here is a story about the Kolkata. Okay. Here we can see. Life in the city and its adjacent district was paralyzed, and the incensed overnight rain, meaning a record of one eighty m millimeter flooded washed area and disrupted traffic. It means water is everywhere, but there is not a drop of water to drink okay there is a given about the kashmir that the kashmiri earth quakes serve serve water carries water in the snow and devastated villages so they have to they go a several miles to collect the water okay so over all we have to understand only one thing that we have to conserve water we have to not exploit uh, much water because water is very important for us and also for the agriculture okay so i hope you understand whole the video that in this video we had discussed about the water resource it is water is water resource and what is water scarcity it means we are covered with the uh, three by four, uh, we are covered with the water but there is no any a drop of water to drink okay that the boy is the boy of the kolkata is here is the given the figure is Is this from the Kolkata? And here is the boy is saying that water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. It means in the ocean there is one three by four, sorry, four by third are the covered with the water, but they are oceans. Okay, and they cannot be used for the drink. Or for the domestic or industrial purpose. Okay, so in the next video we will see about that how we conserve and manage water resource. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you, nice day.